Well, this is an interesting day. It's a beautiful day in downtown Halifax. Another gorgeous, beautiful day in God's country. I feel like I live in God's country here in Halifax. It's just, a, it's an amazing place. It's not too big a city. It's not too small. We've got all, everything we want here. The weather is remarkably good considering the fact that um, we're on the East Coast and, and we're in Canada. <clears throat> Um, the people are friendly, we still talk to each other on the street, it's just a wonderful place to be and do and have. I'm so grateful for everything. Today I want to talk about resistance, speaking of being grateful. We, I had a client in my office here this week and we came to the conclusion that for her, and then since then I've been thinking about it, that for her Everything is about resistance, resistance to life, resistance to change, resistance to relationship, relation, re, resistance to money, re, resistance to everything. And I started thinking about that and I thought, well, maybe this is a key issue for all of us. I have these piles of paper and some, you know, inside these piles of paper are all kinds of things that I want to do. And I'm working on those piles of paper, but I also find myself really resistant to working on those piles of paper. I mean, the whole idea that I actually feel like, and I'm saying it right now, I'm saying I'm working on these piles of paper rather than I'm allowing, I'm allowing myself to be open to whatever's in those piles of paper as they, as they come into my awareness. I think there's a different feeling. I think if you, if you think about something that you have resistance to, just, just pick one thing that you might have resistance to. could be a relationship. It could be a neighbor. It could be... A pile of paper, it could be, you know, cleaning the bathroom, it could be anything. Emptying the dishwasher, that's a big one for me. And, and feel how it feels when you think about whatever that item is. And then say, I have resistance to whatever it is. And then say, I allow myself to be open to whatever it is, I allow whatever it is to come into my awareness and I allow that feeling to flow through me. Feel the difference? There's a difference in our body. So the difference is, or the idea is that <clears throat> when we resist something, it's a really good idea to recognize it. So walk around, you know, after we're done with this call, through the day, through the week, walk around and look at things that you are resistant to, that you that kind of stop you in your tracks, That, or maybe you look at it and then you look away, or you think about it and you stop thinking about it, or try to force yourself to think about something else, or whatever it is. But you know, that thing that you're resistant to, doesn't it keep popping into your head? Doesn't that pile of paper keep showing up in my life? Of course it does. And it keeps showing up because we need to clean on it. We need to get clear energy on it. And the reason that it keeps showing up is not because we have to work on it. It's because we have to allow it to flow into our awareness, flow through us and out to the universe with love and gratitude for everything that it is. So the first thing that you could do is start loving whatever it is that you're resistant to. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. Just, you know, you feel that little bit of resistance. Find out where it is in your body. For me, it's in my chest, that resistance. But it could be anywhere in your body, depending on who you are and how you hold, how, how you hold your tensions. And so just, you know, feel that resistance. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. Let's do a really quick tapping round. Even though I have resistance to whatever it is, I love and forgive myself deeply and completely. Even though I have resistance to, I am filled with peace and joy. I allow myself to be open to whatever that is. I have this resistance. Oh well, it doesn't define me. It's not who I am. It's just something that I have. And because I have it, I can release it. I can allow it to flow through me back to the universe with love and gratitude for the message that it left behind. Top of the head. I have some resistance. 
Now I choose to allow whatever it is that I resist, inside I. I allow whatever it is that I resist into my awareness, through me, and out the other side, with love and gratitude, outside I. I allow this to come into my life. I am open to it. I love and accept whatever it is. It's leaving me a message. It's teaching me a lesson. Under the eye. Oh, that's a good one for me. <laughs> Under the eye. I have this tension. I feel this tension in the resistance. I recognize it and I love and accept that tension. I allow it to flow through me, under the nose. I feel the tension in my body. Where is it? What are these things I'm resistant to? I love and forgive myself deeply and completely. On the chin, I have resistance. Oh no, I don't. It's just stuck energy and I can allow it to flow through me. On the collarbone, I have resistance. No, I don't. It's just stuck energy, and I can allow it to flow through me. I love and forgive myself deeply and completely. Under the arm, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I recognize this resistance. I see it as resistance. I understand that I'm holding something back. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. This is 8 for 8. This is Monday morning. I'm Al Rodi. Um, EFT Atlantic is uh, my company. Please um, call me if you want to do some private work. If you uh, haven't yet signed up for Ice Blue Cleaning, it doesn't cost anything. There's no obligation for the first week. Sign up and check it out. Many people are. We had three new people sign up just this morning. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. Have an inspired and work free week have an inspired and work free week while you allow the universe to flow through you take care have a great week bye